All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of Making Gains. And uh, today's episode is going to be about home ownership gains. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. And uh, I did tell myself that I wouldn't pick up the camera unless I had something special to show you guys. Something worth it. And, uh, you know, truth be told, I do. So, let's come over this way. Um, I, I mentioned to you guys that I am looking at leaving Alice Springs, obviously. Push came to shove. And um, I, I want to put my house on the market for rent. Not, not to sell, but to rent. So, the first thing I had to do was to get the place, you know, looking the part. So um, everything else looks the part, to be honest, guys. I'm really happy with my house. It's, uh, it's nice and simple. The furniture's nice. You know, there's enough space, etc. It's nice and tidy. But there's one thing that was fucking me off, and it has fucked me off for the 18 months that I've lived here, and that is my backyard. And I had not touched it in 18 months. And I don't know if you guys, some of you guys saw it, but it was an absolute jungle. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you guys to my brand new backyard all ready for the place to be rented out I don't know if you saw this beforehand but it was an absolute jungle and in one day they came in and you know completely redid the whole thing I know this area is not big but like literally walking out here and seeing this instead of seeing what I saw yesterday and for the past 18 months is just making me so happy so basically the pavers were there there was a dead tree in the middle of that going up and there was no fence there everything else was just complete grass and dirt and honestly they just came in here um, I wanted the same fence along the back so the thing that took the longest to to order and get ready was the actual fence that was ready and then they came in and, and did the rest so over here we've got an irrigation system which is pretty sick which apparently I don't even need to touch so that and I've only got I've only got seven plants in the whole entire garden so that irrigation system will come on when I need it and that is going to water one grass two grasses three grasses four grasses and then my three miniature citrus trees which I am so so happy about I love these things this is the exact thing I wanted in my garden and Lo and behold, they make miniature citrus trees. So we've got one lemon, one lime, and one orange tree. And obviously the bark goes along the side and the back. And then we've got these uh, stones here to just break it up a little bit. So um, that's it, guys. That's it. I'm really happy. And so obviously I'm not gonna I'm not gonna muck around. So uh, yesterday, once I knew that this was gonna happen. Um, I rung up LJ Hooker and uh, organised them to come around today at 12 o'clock to assess the place and give me a little bit of a estimation on how much I can get per week uh, renting. So today, today is a really important day guys, I'm not going to lie, it's a day that I've been looking forward to for a long time to actually finally get the real estate agent in here to tell me what I can get for it and when I can put it on the market for rent. Um, I'm not going to sell it, obviously. Um, it did it did cross my mind to sell it, but truth be told, Alice Springs property market hasn't moved since I bought it, and so all it's been for me is basically my house to live in. So, all right. So, one thing I've got to say is that this tripod and this camera is heavy as fuck. So I could not. There is no way I could carry this around the city or something vlogging all day. There's no way in hell. So honestly guys, I think I'm going to have to change cameras and just use this one for my still shots. But with that being said guys, you know, with, with the, uh, the backyard the way it is, the house is nice and clean, um, I'm feeling good. It puts me in a good space, I'm feeling good. The real estate agent's coming today, I'm fucking excited for that. It's 9 o'clock in the morning, I've got 3 hours to go until she gets here. So what I'm going to do now is uh, steal a scoop of oxy shred from my flatmate, um, which... <laughs> So if you watch this video, Dom, I stole your oxy shred. If you don't watch my YouTube channel, then you'll never know. 
So, uh, Oxy Shred Mango, obviously we're cutting at the moment. First thing in the morning is not a meal anymore, it's, uh, it's fasting and it's caffeine from some source. So this morning, we're going with a scoop of Oxy Shred and uh, I'll fill that up with water. And yeah, I mean, you guys would have seen in the previous video, if you had, have seen, if you had watched, um, I was feeling uh, a little bit down, a little bit heartbroken. That was probably about two weeks ago now that I made that. And um, since then, you know, you've just, you've, you've got to focus on yourself. And I needed to do that. I, I realized that I'd done it wrong over and over again. I'd put all of my effort into one other person when, and completely forgot about any goals and aspirations that I had personally. And you know, that creates a very bad emotional state that creates a bad situation you know you're not focusing on yourself at all and so when this other situation that you you put all your effort into doesn't work it's like you feel like you've got nothing and then it takes a little bit of time to actually realize again that yes of course you've got things going on um you know to to look forward to and and that's what i needed to do so this is this is this is a momentous day guys getting the real estate agent in so I can get the ball rolling to rent this place out and then I am free. And hey, who knows where I'm going to go, who knows what I'm going to do, but I'll feel a lot freer. I'll feel like I can go somewhere if I need to. For now I'm just going to have this oxy shred. I'm going to go to the car wash, wash my car. So how does this sound? I'm going to have a nice clean car, full tank of petrol. We're going to come home, have a nice clean house, clean bathroom, new backyard. I'm going to go to the supermarket, get some more food, so we'll have a full pantry, full fridge. That's good enough for me. So let's do it. Another major key, guys. Best thing I ever got. It might be because I'm in Alice Springs where we drink so much water, but seriously, a water cooler. $10 for 15 litres. And it's just a swap and a swap and uh, swap and grab thing. So we got more more bottles down there. And um, yeah, absolutely fantastic idea. So I'm gonna go clean my car now. I'll see you guys later. Boom. One clean car. Stoked. Honestly, can't say how stoked I am right now. Feeling really accomplished. Next thing. Bring that in, hang out another load, and clean the house. And look at my little mate out there. There he is. Hi guys, we're back. We're back with some news. So the lady came, everything went well, uh, but one thing that didn't go well is the price that they think I'm gonna get. So apparently, unfurnished, guys, let's have a look. Unfurnished, this property, could reach a weekly rental of 430 to 450 per week. And then if it's furnished, it's an extra $50 from 480 to 500 per week. Now, I'll tell you guys a bit of, I'll tell you guys how much I pay for my mortgage. I pay 375 a week. Um, so obviously, you know, if I got 500 per week, that'd be $125 in the pocket per week for me to then pay the other expenses associated with owning a property. Uh, but I wanted 550 at least, so I think I'm going to go with. I think I'm going to get another couple of uh, real estate agents to come through and see what they say. There's no point going with the first one that comes through, especially if they don't give you what you want. So that's what I'll be organising over the next week. But uh, apart from that, we're going to continue training. Obviously, we've got CrossFit tonight at 6:30. It's 5:21 right now. Um, I had a day off work, so so obviously we did all of that stuff this morning. Got my got my life back in order. Uh, got the first appraisal on the house, which I'm really stoked about. You know, I've been thinking about doing that for so fucking long, and uh, we finally did it. So that's good. Um, what else? Oh, I trained some chess today, <laughs> but uh, you know, I go to the gym every day. But on my days off, I've been doing uh, one workout in the gym and one uh, CrossFit workout. So the guy that you may have seen in another video, Achilles, who joined up with me. He can only hit the 6.30 class at night, so on my days off, I basically lounge around at my leisure until I want to go to the gym. I go to the gym for about an hour, do some weights, then I wait around until 6.30 to hit a CrossFit 
class with uh, Achilles and whoever else is going to be there. So that's what we're going to do tonight. I'm just hanging here at the computer at the little office and um, having a great time. So until next time, guys, that was a bit of an update on what's going on. Um, I am cutting. I'm feeling hungry right now. I'm feeling depleted. I said I probably, I said I wasn't going to go full force into this cut, but it seems that I can't really help myself. When that switch is flipped in my head to go from bulking to dieting mode, um, it doesn't take me long to change things up, and that's exactly what we've done. So once it's been a week, I will make another video and tell you guys exactly how I've been going. But until then, I hope you have a great night. Train hard, eat well, and I will too. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.